Hey guys, what's up? Dan Valmon here with Fanatic Wrestling, and today I'm down in Raleigh, North Carolina, home of the NC State Wolfpack and also on the Wolfpack Regional Training Center. And I'm joined by five time All American, two time national finalist, uh, two time um, world team member or national team member, yep. and um, I don't know, currently competing with some of the best in the world uh, for Team USA. And um, today we just got done uh, filming an instructional video where Trent went over. Um, some of the offense or the, the control from top, some of the, the work that he's done through, all throughout his career to have success since he was a kid all the way up through his college career and still currently, even at the international stuff, I think there's still some things you could get from his video we went over. But while you're waiting for his instructional video to be released, which should be soon, uh, we're going to do a little preview of what to expect from Trent's video. So, Trent, awesome. All right, so when I'm, on, when I'm on top, I'm always looking to get pressure onto his hands. All right, so off the whistle, Typically, I'll go to a double thigh drive, get weight on his hands, using my leg to block. Now I'm gonna look for my claw ride, and this is where a lot of my offense comes from. From here, I'm looking to spiral him down for a breakdown, so my, my leg, my arm is gonna pry, rotate him down, and now I'm in perfect position to pull in wrist, attack cross wrist, and a lot of different offense from the top position. Nice, and I mean, obviously this is a very effective breakdown. You might not be able to tell from the actual video, but when he's talking about getting weight on my hands, and if you watch the video, it'll give you a kind of a, some details on how he's really doing that and maybe getting a little edge on the start there. But it's so important because I know when I started wrestling, I mean, a lot of coaches will tell you, I mean, I want my hands to be nice and light so I can get up to my feet quickly. When he's getting my weight on my hands, I have no choice. It also creates that space for him to, be able to get that claw there. Getting a lot of pressure driving with his feet uh, makes it very difficult for me. So I know one thing from here too, sometimes if you do start to get somebody extended, they'll go to that sit out position, trying to create some hip separation, trying to create space. What are you gonna do if um, that's the case? Yeah, so I have a great option. If a guy goes to a sit out, I'm continuing to put a ton of pressure on him. So if I get to this claw and I feel like he goes to a sit out, one thing I gotta make sure is I'm not sitting on my knees. So I'm gonna come up to my toes and I wanna put a ton of pressure from his chest into his knees. Now from here, oftentimes guys will pressure back. I'm gonna release that pressure, circle out, get to my over under, and pancake him over for a pin. Nice, and that's a really great option, like you said, and he's pressuring into me a lot of times. You have that push-pull type of thing where he's pushing into me, I don't like that, so I start to pressure back and use my own momentum against me. Yeah. Cool, let's see that maybe just from one more angle. Okay. Right, before I get to my claw, he goes to a sit out. Notice I'm getting off my knees, on my toes, pressuring forward, and when he pressures back, circling out, pancake him, look for back points, hopefully a pin. Nice. Great option there, obviously, yeah. And then match nice and quick there, good stuff. Guys, again, stay on the lookout for this video from Trent. Also, uh, check out some other videos that may already be out from guys on the Wolfpack uh, RTC and uh, NC State. But um, while you're waiting for that, make sure you're subscribing to this YouTube channel where you're watching free content like this. Lots more out there. Uh, make sure you're also following us on all of our social media, as always, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.